Good evening and a warm welcome to Empowering You and Your Family for Victory. God richly bless you. Uh, Ma Ann sends her fondest love and greetings together with me to every one of you. I want to share with you on finishing your set race by faith, or faith for finishing your set race. Reading Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and verse 2. Wherefore, seeing we also accompassed, and that word accompassed means surrounded, about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us or trips us, and let us run with patience or perseverance the race that is set before us. Take note that it is a set race. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. God richly bless you. These scriptures are so loaded. The cloud of witnesses that actually surround us are the Old Testament saints and the departed New Testament saints as well. We need to always understand, friends, that God has made a promise to his people and it is the New Covenant. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 25, God says, I, even I, am he that blotted out thy transgressions for mine own sake and will not remember thy sins. I believe that God and the departed saints do not have memory of their sins and failures and do not have memory of other people's sins and failures for the Bible teaches that we have come unto the just men made perfect. So it gives us an indication that even though we were born again, the righteousness of God, our minds were not fully transformed or renewed. There were still programs, and there are still programs in our mind. And so the soul area is in a state of being saved. Our spirit man is saved. We will never be any more the righteousness of God than we are. However, the spirit man also is growing. And the body shall still be saved. So please remember that, that process you find uh, in the scriptures. We are delivered. We trust that he doth deliver us. And uh, we believe he shall yet deliver us. So there's, there's three time frames to the salvation. There is what Christ has done, which is a completed work. There is what Christ is doing at the right hand of the Father as the apostle and high priest. And the Holy Spirit is doing presently within us. And then there is what Christ will fully accomplish in our mortal bodies when he does return. In the meantime, we have in our spirit a perfect salvation. We are born again the righteousness of God. Our minds are being transformed or being saved. Our bodies are 
shall yet be saved. However, because we are living in the eternal now, we are pressing in to the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in that uh, we are thinking from an end product and we are believing that the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is quickening our mortal bodies presently. And so it's important for us to understand these dynamics. Hence I said to you, I believe that God, according to the scriptures in Isaiah 43, verse 25, he says he's the one that blots out our transgression for his name's sake. And then he says he, he makes a choice in his sovereignty. I will not remember thy sins. So that is why the blood of Jesus Christ is so powerful because it has blotted out all our sins. God doesn't relate to you through sin. God relates to you through righteousness, through your new birth, through Christ, because you and Christ is one. And so the departed saints are the spirits of just men made perfect. So their soul area is perfected and they don't have a, re a memory of their sin because the blood of Jesus has blotted it away. They don't have a memory of your failure and your sin who are still living on the earth because God chose not to remember. So we understand that heaven is entirely under the rule of God. Therefore, it's called the kingdom or the rule of God in heaven. However, in heaven, it is the will of God that is held in remembrance eternally. There is nothing in heaven about anything outside the will of God. It is the will of God. Thy will be done in, on the earth as it is in heaven. So if there was a remembrance of sin in heaven, then there would be a remembrance of sin on the earth. And the word of God is very clear that God has removed our transgression as far as the east is from the west. The power there is in the blood of of Jesus Christ. And so we are surrounded by this great cloud of witnesses that went before us. And so it's showing us that heaven and the spiritual realm is not so far away, right up there beyond our ability to live in it. We live on the earth through our salvation from a position of heaven on the earth through the faith of God. So the departed saints of the Old Covenant and the New Testament have passed the baton unto us. They ran their allotted race, but we are still alive on the earth now the Bible says we must lay aside the weight and the sin that doth so easily trip us up. I believe the weight is sin consciousness, forever remembering your faults and your failings. And the sin is living in that which Jesus died for and nailed on the cross. Why? because that will trip you up. So you've got to lay aside the weights, the remembrance of sin, and the sin, practicing sin, because it will trip you up, and you run your set race with endurance, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. While we are members of the body of Christ, 
every one of us is a member, separate member of the body, one body. Every one of us have our own set race. But we also must run this race understanding that we are here to complete the Old Testament saints and those that have gone to be with the Lord by our running a finishing race and a completing race. And then we also are not in remembrance of our past failings and the departed saints' past failings. All that is blotted out. And so heaven can invade our earth and we can live on the earth running our race from a position of heaven on the earth. God richly bless you. Allow me to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for all our online viewers, the family of God. We thank you today that there is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus because of the blood of Jesus Christ, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. I speak that into all our online viewers that the Holy Spirit is helping you to erase the memory of your sin and erase the memory of your failure because heaven does not have a record of your sin and your failure. I bless you with that revelation today in Jesus' name. I bless you all in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Bye.